We're going to talk a little bit about screens now. Actually, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the process. As you know, it's a process. It's art, it's screen making, it's ink mixing, it's on press techniques, it's the dryer, it's packaging, it's the whole bit. Uh, without any one part of those things being as strong as they can be, you really are going to fall short. That being said, the screen is what is our entire industry is named after. Without good screens, even if you've got good art, you're not going to be able to get good products. I want to talk just a little bit about what mesh is made of. Mesh is really just polyester. There's a few different weaves. Uh, for the most part, there's a, uh, you don't want to go with a twill weave. You want to go with a standard weave. There's a couple of reasons for that that I won't go into too deeply now. Um, there's white mesh. There's dyed mesh. White is cheaper. Uh, why should I buy dyed? Um, a couple of reasons. If you think about the way the mesh is woven, those little tubes, those little threads are actually clear. They're not really white. So when you go to expose, they actually uh, will receive or absorb the light and they act like little fluorescent tubes and you'll get real bad undercutting sometimes with detailed types of images. That's why a lot of the time real low meshes won't be offered in dyed mesh, but as you go up to real high meshes, you may not be able to find white. Typically all mesh starts out white or clear and then it's dyed. The reason we dye it is to cut down on that undercutting we call it where you get that sawtooth edge when you go to press. So always do what you can to get dyed mesh.